Installing a Haldex automatic brake adjuster is simple and quick when you follow the procedures step by step. Let's start with the anchor bracket and adjuster installation. Our procedures are different right from the start. First, remove two of the S-CAM support bolts. Then, apply anti-seize lubrication to the S-CAM spline. Next, mount the anchor bracket to the adjuster side of the S-CAM support. Because of the added plate thickness, longer bolts and washers are supplied with the kit. And, as you can see, they may be needed to make sure the mounting threads fully engage. Then, tighten the anchor plate bolts. On axles like this example, you'll find an anchor plate already built into the cam support, so you won't have to remove any bolts. The next step is to slip a protection washer between the adjuster and the S-CAM support. You may need more than one washer. Use as many as you need to centrally space the adjuster on the shaft. Now you're ready to fit the adjuster onto the S-CAM shaft, remembering that the adjusting hex must point away from the air chamber. First, Rotate the adjusting hex clockwise to move the brake adjuster into the clevis. Don't pull the pushrod assembly out to meet the adjuster. Brush anti-seize lubricant on the clevis pin and install the clevis pin and the cotter pin. Slip on as many outer protection washers as you need to reduce the clearance between washer and adjuster to 1 16th inch or less. Here's another of those special cases. As the pointing finger shows, Eaton axles feature the anchor bracket plate mounted with only one bolt. As with other axles, the control arm must be located properly to have the correct lining to drum clearance. To get this proper clearance, rotate the control arm toward the air chamber until it comes to an internal stop. And tap it lightly to assure the proper position. When you have the control arm properly located, you can tell immediately because this installation indicator will be within this slotted area. Now, slip the anchor stud through the slotted plate, the lock nut, and the control arm bushing. Then, making sure the control arm does not move out of its position and that the installation indicator stays in its slotted area, tighten the lock nut. Then, check the indicator again. Now, Let's do the brake adjustment. First, turn the 7 16th adjusting hex clockwise until the lining contacts the drum. Next, back off the adjusting hex counterclockwise approximately half a turn. Again, you'll hear that perfectly normal ratcheting sound. And that concludes our typical installation on a trailer.